Hi, this is Robbie again. So this time, this is part two of my little series on lighting modifiers and distance to the subject. Today we're going to be going over a soft box. Last time, you can see right here, we did a 22 inch beauty dish. So the soft box today is 27 by 20, 28 by 20 ish. It is mounted on the same Alien B B800 strobe. I'm going to attempt to place this soft box at roughly the same distance as we had the beauty. So that should give you a pretty good comparison of the different types of light and different distances based on the light modifier. That's right, kitty. So let's get these get the soft box set up. Okay, so our soft box is now set up. Soft box is going to be roughly six feet, five and a half feet from my head. Again, I'm two feet from the background. So let's fire a test shot and see what it looks like at this distance. Okay, everything is pretty bright. There's a very, very soft shadow on this side. Uh, the room that I'm in has a white roof. There's quite a bit of spill that comes off of a softbox like this, so it's bouncing off walls, ceiling, everything, and filling in. If I had barn doors or something, or a grid, the light would be a little bit more directional. It would probably be a little bit less soft because it wouldn't be bouncing off the ceiling. Also, I'm getting a huge specular highlight on my uh, computer glasses, so I just took my computer glasses off. So now let's bring this. So now let's bring the softbox closer and see how that changes the light. Our softbox is now about three feet away. So let's see what this one looks like. That's producing some really nice soft light transition across my face. Still an ever so slight shadow on the background. When I moved, when I decreased the distance by half, I also cut the power by half, it was at half power, and now it is at a quarter power. So now I'm going to decrease the distance and bring it even closer. Also, this is a, the softbox is currently mounted vertically. So now the softbox is mounted very close to my face, it's about 20 inches away. I also decreased the power. Let's see what this looks like. There at this distance you can see the shadow starting to become pretty dramatic, but it's still soft, looks pretty cool. Okay, so now with the softbox really close, we're going to try and pivot it a little bit closer to uh, head on. Softbox is now approximately 20 inches to my face, really close on my left. Let's try this. still too powerful, so we're going to drop power a little bit more, try again. There we go, so now we're probably exposing the hot side of my face, but the rest of my face and body are fading to darkness. You can also see the background is a little bit darker because not as much light is uh, getting to it because we're exposing probably from my face. So now we'll do one more demonstration with a softbox right at my side. I'll show you how spinning a softbox from uh, portrait to landscape can alter how the light wraps around the subject. Okay, so now the softbox, my head is about middle height, the back edge of it lines up with my cheek, and it's still in portrait, so let's see what this looks like. With this, it's not able to really wrap around my face at all, just because it's not very wide. If I switch this to landscape, which I'll do right now, so now the softbox is sticking quite a bit further out in front of me. Back edge is still lining up with my face, but it's in the landscape configuration. Let's see what this looks like. As you can see in that configuration, light is quite a bit softer 
because more of the soft box is out in front of me. It's not really cooking inside of my face. And some of it's able to wrap around it. There's uh, much more visible on the dark side of my face. So I hope you found this useful. In my part three on these light modifiers, we're going to use umbrellas, reflective at first, and we'll kind of do the same run through and see what changes. All right, thanks, bye.